artist. Much of his work is kept here at the original cabin he worked in, now located at the Western Heritage Center. But one of his most famous pieces was a 33 foot long mural that served as the bar back at the Jordan Inn. I think that was half the town's first job. In its heyday, before a massive fire destroyed the building, the Jordan Inn was a staple in eastern Montana. I literally spent a quarter of my life working in that place. That place was so much of my life for so long. Former employees Karen Ryan and Shad Kaufman know firsthand just how special it truly was. Everyone knew the history of all the murals and of the agates and and of the hotel itself. All of those murals were masterpieces painted by J.K. Ralston, one of the best-known Western artists of his time. And really, uh, you know, I idealize kind of the, uh, the American West, in particular the time before uh, the ranges were all locked up and things like that. But none were more magnificent than the 33-foot mural that sat behind the hotel bar. You could see the breaststrokes, you could feel the breaststrokes. It was an amazing piece of art. It meant so much to the community. Ralston's granddaughter, Elisa Scott, recognized that value. When you think about a painting like that and a bar like that in a small town like Glendive, that's where everybody had their first legal beer. And that's why last year she began forming a group that was working to get the mural out of the building, which had been condemned for 10 years and was falling apart. I would say that we were making progress. We were very well aware of the fact that we probably were going to have to take the wall out in order to do it because the painting could not come off the wall. It was too brittle. Unfortunately, their attempt came up short. That fire took the painting with it. Of that kind of history just be gone all of a sudden is just... It's mind boggling and it, it, it breaks your heart. And um, I wanted to throw up. Her emotions felt by many. It, yeah, it just, it really tears at my heart. Very emotional, very, very tough. A true Montana treasure now gone and the history along with it. And the state of Montana has lost a, a gem of, of a recording of what we were when we were beginning to become a state. Reporting for MTN News, I'm Charlie Kleps.